that the function f going from the integers to the integers defined by f of n equals the ceiling of n over 2 is not 1 to 1. This function is not 1 to 1. So recall that the definition of being 1 to 1 was that we have that f of xy, f of x equals f of y implies x equals y. So in other words, this is equivalent to looking at it as when x and y are different, then f of x and f of y are different. So the way that we're going to try to find a counterexample to this, we're going to prove that it's false by finding a counterexample, is we're going to find two x's and y's that are in reality the same, making this true, but for which, sorry, <laughs> two x and y's which are different, making the antecedent true, but for which f of x and f of y actually end up being equal. So we won't be one to one, we'll be at least two to one. Okay, furthermore, recall that the ceiling function is the function that automatically rounds upward. So it takes any number and it rounds it to uh, the, the smallest integer that is bigger than or equal to the value that you get out of this function. So the way that we're going to go about proving this to actually find our counterexample is let's take a couple numbers that we know and love here. Let's take the number 2. So notice what is f of 2. Well f of 2 is equal to the ceiling of 2 over 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we get the ceiling of 1. And what is the smallest integer that is bigger than or equal to 1? Well that would be the number that we know of as 1. So f of 2 is equal to the number 1, because 2 over 2 is 1, and 1 is already an integer. So it's the smallest integer that's bigger than or equal to itself. Okay, now let's take another value. Let's take f of some other number that we're going to hope is going to equal to 1. So let's take something like f of 1.5 f of 1.5, do the ceiling of 1.5 over 2, and what is 1.5 over 2? Let's see, 1.5 divided by 2 would be a ceiling on 0.75, and if we take 0.75 and we round it upwards, what are we going to get? We're going to get 1, because that's the smallest integer that is bigger than or equal to the number 0.75. There's actually a bunch of values that cause this to happen, right? What would be f of just a 0.5? f of 0.5 would be the ceiling on 0.5 divided by 2, which would be the ceiling on 0.25. So it's not true rounding. We're not going to take this down to 0. What is the smallest integer that is bigger than or equal to 0.25? Well, yet again, this is 1. So notice that we're finding more than one value. We found two, 1.5, and 0.5, and there's many others, which are different from each other, so satisfying the antecedent, yet the outputs of the function every single time are 1. So the outputs of the function are equal to each other, even though the inputs were different from each other. So this function is not 1 to 1.